Hello everyone. Today we got a nice little recursion problem. So we have the recursion equation a n is equal to a n minus one divided by a n minus one plus one, and we are of course supposed to find a recursive uh, or an explicit formula. And also given that I think it was uh, a zero is uh, yeah equal to one because then if it if it's equal to zero then it never escapes zero so yes a zero is equal to one so firstly let's just try out some shit okay so what is a one then okay that is just one over one plus one which is equal to one half okay and then a two what is that that is one half over one half plus one which if we multiply by 2 everywhere, we get 2 over 3, okay? And then a3, what is that? That is 2 over 3 over 2 over 3 plus 1. And multiply by 3 everywhere, we get 2 over 5. Okay, interesting uh, pattern we get here. So I'm... Okay, and we can try another one. a4 being equal to... Uh, yeah, that's 2 fifths over... 2 fifths plus 1 multiplied by 5 everywhere we get 2 over 2 plus 5 so 2 over 7. Okay so I'm not really sure about this one but I can see a clear pattern here at least. Uh, wait that's how you draw from these. So I am going to assume that a n our explicit formula for a n is 2 over 2 n minus 1. And does this work for one? then we get we just get 2 instead. Uh, yeah but but fuck that. We don't, uh, we can have that as a, like a, as a special case. So we say that, okay, that is true when, when n is larger than or equal to two. And otherwise it's one and one half. Yes, because I'm not dumb because that two minus one, that's just one, right? So yeah, it becomes two. But anyways, it looks like it works for all of these. So this is our explicit formula. And how do we prove this? By induction, of course. So we assume that this holds. And then we shall prove it for, um, we assume it holds for, for n, and then we shall show that it holds for n plus 1. So therefore, I shall start with, uh, I start with the left-hand side. So then for, therefore, we have n plus 1, so we just exchange this for an n plus 1, so we get 2 over 2n plus 1 instead. I'm sorry, I will start with the right-hand side. This was uh, not enough. Okay. So, okay, we just have 2 over 2n minus 1 over 2 over 2n minus 1. This is the big division sign, of course. And then plus 1. And then we multiply by 2n minus 1 everywhere. So we get 2 over 2 plus 2n minus 1, which is equal to 2 over 2n plus 1, which is, is exactly what I just wrote before and what you will get if you just input this into there. So, as I said... It holds for, therefore it holds for n is larger than or equal to 2. But uh, with 1 and 0, we have to specify what it is. So yes, that was everything for me. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you some other time. Bye-bye.